Cheers everyone, Ryan Jackson here. I hope you're having just a great day. So we're gonna talk about 310.14, one of my favorite sections in the entire code. 310.14 and 310.15 really work hand in hand with each other. And boy, I'll tell you, when it comes to difficult things in the code, sizing conductors, right? Sizing conductors and breakers should be like the easiest thing in the world, but there's so much to it. There's so many moving parts and 310.14 is usually where I like to start when I do my eight hour uh, conductor sizing and overcurrent protection series, right? So 310.14 is near and dear to my heart. This is kind of the baseline rule in article 310. So let's take a look at what panel six did. I actually think they fixed a, uh, a problem that even I never caught it ran. I spent a lot of time in 310.14 and this rule never dawned on me. So article 310, conductors for general wiring, 310.14, ampacity of conductors. The allowance to ignore ampacity adjustment and temperature correction was changed for accuracy. Okay, so 310.14A2 is what we're going to be talking about. I'd love to do a whole video on 310.14, but this is just the changes. So we're going to talk about A2. If a circuit conductor has more than one ampacity, then the lowest ampacity must be used for the entire circuit. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here, and we're going to start with the definition of the word ampacity, okay? And ampacity, by the way, is just a word that the code nerds made up, right? It's, it's ampere capacity. So only conductors have an ampacity. Equipment doesn't. The equipment has ratings. The definition of ampacity is the amount of current that a conductor can carry continuously under the conditions of use without exceeding its temperature rating, okay? So the conditions of use, you can't just look at a piece of 12 gauge THHN and say, oh, I, that's a 20 amp wire or a 30 amp wire. No, you have to know the conditions of use. Are you installing this on a roof in Phoenix? Or are you installing it in a cellar in Alaska? Two different conditions of use. Are you putting it in a conduit with one other wire or a hundred other wires? Two different conditions of use right? And it's going to both change the ampacity. So how can a conductor have more than one ampacity? Well, the answer is different conditions of use in a single conductor, right? So here we've got our regular 12 gauge ampacity, right? So 12 gauge, you know, NM cable conditions of use straight from table 310.16, 78 to 86 degree F ambient temperature, not more than three current carrying conductors in the cable, regular old table 310.16 ampacity. But then look what happens. We go down here and we have a different condition of use. We have installed a whole bunch of cables together without maintaining spacing. So this condition of use due to the lack of spacing reduces the ampacity down to 12 amps. By the time I do the ampacity adjustment in 310.15C1, these wires are now only good for 12 amps. All right, so we have one wire with two different ampacities, 30 amps and 12 amps. And this rule says, listen, you have to use the lower ampacity for the entire circuit. This entire circuit is now only a 12 amp wire. Makes sense. But there's long been an, an exception that a lot of people aren't aware of. And it's one that, boy, you really ought to take advantage of it. Let's read it without the code change text first though, okay? If a circuit has multiple ampacities, then the higher ampacity can be used if the lower ampacity is no longer than 10 feet and not more than 10% of the total circuit length. So again, let's just, let's just stick to the old text for right now. So I come out of this panel board through these short little raceways here into this wireway. Now, when I go to section 376.22b, it says, listen, for wireways, you don't have to do an ampacity adjustment for three conductors. I mean, if we, if we had to decrease the ampacity for three conductors in a wireway, we would never install wireway, right? It would just it would be self-limiting. You couldn't do it. So instead, it says you don't even have to worry about it until you're more than 30 current carrying conductors. Well, looking at this picture, I think we probably are more than 30 current carrying conductors. So we're going to have to do an ampacity adjustment, and I would be willing to bet that these... Uh, these 30 amp wires are now probably only good for 15, right? But again, let's, let's, read the, let's read the exception. As long as the lower ampacity, this part in the wireway, as long as this is less than 10 feet long 
and less than 10% of the entire length of the circuit, then you can forget about it. Just use the higher ampacity. It's totally cool. And the reason for that is, yes, initially, this part of the wire will be warmer than the rest of the wire, but that heat will dissipate out through the copper or aluminum or copper clad aluminum and everything will be just fine, right? As long as it's not more than 10 feet long or 10% of the total circuit length. But here's something that I never thought about. I always viewed this as saying, okay, it has two different ampacities because of ampacity adjustment or temperature correction. <laughs> but it didn't say that before. So could I have a 100 foot long piece of 500 KC mill and then just pigtail like five feet of number 12 onto the end of it and put it on a 400 amp breaker? I think that's what it said. <laughs> I, never, I never got that. I always read the words that are now in the book, right? I always thought it said what it now says, which is if ampacity adjustment or temperature correction results in a circuit having multiple ampacities. The higher ampacity can be used if the lower ampacity is no longer than 10 feet and not more than 10% of the total length of the circuit. So, uh, you know how I love weird little code rules that get fixed, right? And that's exactly what this was. This was a weird little code rule that got fixed. I'd like to know how long this has been wrong. It's been wrong my whole career. I'll tell you that much right now. I never noticed. All right, listen. Um, you're not going to want to miss the next video. Uh, 312.11 is what we're going to talk about. A really, really subtle code change. And I'll tell you right now, this flew under a lot of people's radars. There are a lot of people that, that are experts in the industry that I'm friends with that, that didn't catch this one. And it's a big, big deal. So make sure you check out 312.11. That's the subject of the next video. I'm going to look forward to it. I hope you'll be there, and I hope you have a great day, and I hope that you're safe out there doing what you're doing. Cheers, everybody. See you next time.